Sometimes you wish to create a profile graph, which is a plot of the horizontal distance you move versus the vertical distance that you rise or fall. Here I have a road, so this road segment that we've digitized and given to you. And it goes up this valley and then climbs up a hill and goes up in a ridge, then down a little side valley and up to the top. And I might want to look at the steepness along this route. And I can do that with this interpolate shape tool. Again, that's in the 3D analysis toolbox, but I'm kind of lazy, so I'm going to do this interpolate shape. And you can see it shows up here. You've, we put an input surface again, if I double left click on that tool, and it's the driftless DEM that's underneath here. And then the input features are going to be the features that I want to basically interpolate the shape. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a link between the points along this shape and the elevations below it. And the reason it's an interpolate shape is because I add a sampling distance here and it might have to interpolate if that sampling distance doesn't fall exactly on a cell center. So I can give it a sampling distance here of let's say three meters. So every three meters it's going to, if it falls on the cell center, provide that value onto the line here. So if I zoom in I can see that each of these cells has a value and it will, where the cell finds, falls right on the center of the point where there's a three meter point, give that value and in between it'll interpolate between this elevation and the elevations that are nearby. And I can give it the method here, a case of bilinear interpolation. You should know what that is from the reading. So I'll go ahead and, and do the run. And that's fairly quick. It gives me then this driftless interpolation of the shape. And basically it's just a new layer that has along it the points interpolated on it, the elevation points interpolated on it. And if I want the, to then create a plot of the profile, I can right click on it and then in the create chart down at the bottom, click profile graph. And it will then look along that graph, that line and plot for me the horizontal distance versus the elevation which I just pulled. Now up here on the side there are chart properties so I can change the general chart properties like the title. Um, I might call this just my profile and I can do the same thing for the X and Y axis title and I can add a description then which will add some text. So that's the profile graph. You can also add the profile graph then to a layout. So I don't think I have a layout created here. So I'll insert a new layout into my project here. And I can say I want to pull the map out on to the layout. So now I have this map and I'll just resize it. And then once I've resized it, I can add a chart frame here. So if I click on this chart frame, I can add my profile, which I just created. And that adds that then to the layout. So I have here a chart and I can resize. 